Um, my name is Ellen Nielsen. I am Jennifer's sister, and I'm gonna do an intro to Young Living Essential Oils video for you guys. So for anyone who's interested, I'm hoping this will tell you what's up with our oils. Okay, um, first off, I am not a doctor. I cannot diagnose, treat, or cure any diseases. This is for informational purposes. I'm just a oil enthusiast. Um, okay. So let me get started. I'm hoping to do this kind of quick. I want to keep it under 30. I hope it's not too long for you. Sorry. But there's just a lot of really good information and I'm kind of obsessed with these oils. Um, so why Young Living? A lot of people say, well, there's oils on Amazon or at Walmart. Like why choose Young Living's oils as opposed to something else? Well, Young Living offers a seed to seal promise, which is kind of what sets us apart from the other companies. And this guarantees that we have the purest oils on the market. Um, Young Living picks the strongest seeds from the most vibrant, the strongest plants that they have in their crops, and they use those seeds for the next planting season. Um, they have very, very strict guidelines that they use to make sure that we have the purest oils. Um, there are farms all over the world, and they only plant their crops in um, each crop's native environment. So when you get your kit, there's gonna be a um, like a magazine, and in the magazine, it's gonna show you a map of all their farms all over the world, and they will plant each crop in its native environment, which I think is kinda cool. Uh, one of my favorite things that Young Living does is they hand weed, and they use their own essential oils for pesticides, so they don't use any chemicals on their plants. They test every batch um, three times. They do all the testing in their own facilities. They don't send it out to any third parties, so there's nothing added. All these oils are 100% pure. Um, if the oils don't meet up to their standards, sorry, I keep looking at my door because I'm waiting for a student. Um, if these oils don't meet up to Young Living standards, then they do not bottle it up, regardless of how much money they lose, which I think is pretty, um, it's pretty nice, it's pretty noble that they're not after the dollar. Uh, there was, a couple years ago, we went, like two years without uh, Valor, one of our oils, because there was a bad crop or one of the crops was becoming extinct, so they had to ch uh, change the recipe. And they just stopped making it. They could have produced a subpar oil and sell it to still make money, but they refused to even sell that oil. So I think that says a lot about this company. Okay, I can go on and on about seed to seal, but I'm gonna skip that because, oh sorry, I'm trying to get comfy. That's kind of the boring stuff. All right, um, safety. Before we get started, we're gonna talk a little about safety. If you're new to essential oils and you're going to be applying them on your skin, I recommend diluting them until you know how that oil is going to feel. How you, because I have sensitive skin and my kids do. Sometimes, um, you know, you just wanna test it out, so I'm trying to open this oil up. So if you're saying how do I dilute oils, well let me show you. Uh, you use a carrier oil. So this is the coconut oil and this is just the coconut oil that you buy at Jewel like in the food section. I know that sounds weird. Oh that's weird. I don't know what happened here. That is so weird looking. All right so <laughs> this is coconut oil and as you see it turns solid in the uh, like room temperature or cooler temperatures and as it heats up, like just from your hands heating it up, it turns into liquid. You could also buy fractionated coconut oil, which is coconut oil in the liquid form, like 24 or seven. <laughs> There's also grapeseed oil that's always liquid. And this is from Whole Foods, but you can buy this stuff on Amazon, uh, Walmart, Jewel, whatever you shop. And um, I have a bottle of lavender here. So what I will do often, like with my kids, I will literally take a scoop this is so hard because this room is frozen, uh, of coconut oil in my hand. And I have my lavender and I'm just going to boop, boop, throw a few drops. And I just mix it in my hand. Sometimes I'm too lazy. Um, if you are crafty and Pinteresty and um, super creative, uh, you could buy mason jars and mix coconut oil with all your oils. But sometimes when I'm in a hurry, I just do it in my hand. Um, okay. So that's that is diluting your oil. Um, safety, more safety, sorry, I'm looking at my notes. Don't put your oils in your eyes or in your ears. Those are the only two no-no places. Um, follow, just follow the directions on the bottles and uh, come in, use common sense, I guess I could say. Um, some of the oils are considered hot oils, like peppermint and thieves, I'll talk about those more. But uh, for hot oils, like 
peppermint will burn your eyes. Uh, I put some on and my hands and put it on something, I rub my face and then my eyes were burning. You do not want to add water. Do not, repeat, do not add water. Water just drives the oils into your skin more and intensifies it. What you want to do is you want to flush it with a carrier oil and the oil will dilute it. So um, let's say, true story, parent conference night, I may or may not have had some BO issues going on. <laughs> kind of embarrassing so I legit thought oh peppermint oil smells super good I'll put some on my armpits dude that stuff burns so my armpits were like on fire I was sweating so um, if I had a carrier oil I would have taken my carrier oil and rubbed it on my pits and that would have made things better um, another story I put thieves on my son's feet at night he was putting his sock on he got the thieves on his feet and then rubbed his eye his eye was burning. I, I had, I think, rose hip oil is another oil, uh, carrier oil, and I poured it in my hands and rubbed it all over his face, and it was, it was fine. He can see, he's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> the best mom ever. So, just hot oils. Don't touch your eyes or your, um, you just don't touch your eyes with them. And if you do, use a carrier oil to dilute it. Um, let's see again. Don't use water because water just drives it in. Okay, one more um, safety issue. For citrus oils like lemon, lime, orange, those can leach plastic from your cups. So if you're gonna put uh, lemon or lime or orange in your glass of water, use an actual glass container or use a metal container. If you use a plastic container, um, it will just leach, it's, it's bad for you. So um, don't do that. And citrus oils are also photosensitive. So if you pour some citrus oils on your arms and then you go out in the sun, you can burn. Uh, there was an article about some girl who went to a tanning bed after putting citrus oils on and she received bad burns. So don't put citrus oils on your face or on yourself if you're gonna be in the sun. Okay, so, sorry, am I going too fast? I get excited. <laughs> I don't want this video to be too long. So I hope I'm not going too fast. Whew, I have a lot of energy, sorry. All right, so there are three ways to use our oils. You can use them topically, like I just did with the lavender. I poured the lavender on my hands. Uh, you can use them aromatically with our diffusers, which I'll talk about in just a second, or internally. So um, aromatically, so topically, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Topically, I just did, which you saw, and there's some cool facts I wanna share, which blows my mind. Um, when you put anything on your skin, lotion, oil, um, cleaning products, anything you put on your skin, it takes 22 seconds for that substance to get to reach your brain. It takes two minutes for it to be detected into your bloodstream, and it takes 20 minutes for full cell saturation. So think about throughout your day, think about everything that you put on your skin. When you wake up in the morning and you wash your face with soap or your hair, um, and then you get out of the shower, I put lotion on. Think about everything that touches your skin, and if you're cleaning the house, think about the cleaning products you use. And then think about your floor, things you step on. Anything you, st you touch with your skin that gets into your skin, these lotions, all these chemicals, uh, it takes two minutes to be detected in your blood and 20 minutes for full cell saturation. So this really kind of woke me up and to me really made me switch over to more natural products, especially with my children. I switched my children over first and then I slowly switched my own personal care products. So now I use um, Young Living for all my lotions and my makeup is Young Living. Um, just because of all, we don't realize this, but we are putting so many chemicals in our body. And when you use essential oils, not only is it um, helping your skin, but it'll help your body internally, which we'll talk about in a minute. So topically apply things to your skin and they are very quickly absorbed and they're very effective. Aromatically is with a diffuser. So when you buy a premium starter kit, you can choose a diffuser. So there's two choices I wanna show you. This is the Dewdrop diffuser and this one is so pretty. This is the Desert Mist. So when you sign up for the premium starter kit, you can choose Desert Mist or Dewdrop. They both cost, the premium starter kit comes with a diffuser 
and this whole box of oils that I will open up for you in just a moment. And all these oils in the two diffusers are $160. If you are a baller and you want to upgrade to a super fancy diffuser, there is a really gorgeous glass dome called the Air, the Aria. It's 260. Um, that is on my bucket. Ooh, I almost knocked you over. That is on my bucket list of diffusers I would love to one day own. Um, but that's just not in my price range at this moment. Um, this I love. This is a new one. This is called a Desert Mist. And what happens? You take this top part off. Okay, and then this comes off as well. And in here is the reservoir. You fill up, there is a line in here. You fill up here with water. I use tap water because, I mean, I just don't have time to be bottled, buying bottled water. Tap water is fine. No one ever has any issues. So tap water up to this line up here, and then you just put in however many oils you want. Five, 10, sometimes they get generous. Um, depending on how intense you want your aroma to be. You put this one back on and it lines up. There's like a little groove that lines up here. You put this top back on. I don't have it plugged in. The plug goes in here. And this button turns it on. And this fun button can change the color of the light. So you hit it once, you get just a plain white light. You keep hitting it, it gets green, blue, purple, pink, yellow, orange. There's also a feature for a candle flicker, which I absolutely love. There's also one for no light at all. So you can leave it in your room at night and there's no light and have it diffuse all night. This one holds more water and it diffuses for a longer period of time, longer than the dew drop. The dew drop I still like. This um, is um, old, like the, this is like an older version. The Desert Mist is the new version, but you can still get this one. This comes off, oopsie daisy. This comes off. And then there's another tap that comes off. You fill up to this, whatever this weird red thing is, you fill the water up to here, pour your oils in, put the little tap on, put the big tap on. There's one button, hit it once and it lights up blue. Hit it a second time and the light turns off and it's still diffusing. So um, this is more simple, basic. Again, they're the same price. So most people have been getting the Desert Mist. Okay, so that is my general intro so when you get your premium starter kit you have your diffuser and then you get this beautiful box and this is a picture of the lavender fields in utah and i'm actually going here in june and i'm so excited i'm going to visit the lavender fields of young living in june i'm so excited okay so you open up you take off this case we have this box it's very fancy and fun Pull this open, oh my gosh. There's some information in here um, on the oils and ways to use them. This comes off and, oops, I took some oils out. Here are your premium starter kit oils. So there's 10 oils here and then when you open this up, boom, there's bonus stuff inside the box. I'll get to that in just a minute. Now what is so fun about this box uh, is it turns into a cute little stand. It's not awesome. I like the little things, you know. I don't need much in life. Just come on, stand. I'm trying to say how awesome you are. All right, so then you can stand this up on your countertop next to your diffuser and when you're picking out your oils to see what you like. Um, so that's, maybe that's just me. I just think it's cute. Or if, you, if you're doing your oil class, if you love these oils and you want to teach your own class, you can use your own kits and have this on display if you wanted to teach a class. All right, sorry, I'm moving my stuff around so I can make room to show these oils. Okay, so I'm gonna go through real quick. I'm at about 14 minutes. I'm trying not to waste your time. I'm gonna go through and talk about these oils. So I will talk about peppermint first. And let me just pull this out. Peppermint. Yeah, I'm just referring to my little book here. I have a couple books again I'm going to send to my sister. And if you're interested, we have a Facebook page. I can email you all these notes that I have in front of me. Uh, I can add you to our Facebook page where there's a ton of information. Sometimes in the beginning it's a little overwhelming because there's so much information. But it's 
you know, it's good stuff. I love it. Okay, so peppermint says that you can diffuse it for a stimulating and energizing scent. It's to me, it really wakes me up. It wakes up your senses too. This is a very powerful, like potent <laughs> smell. I love peppermint. <sighs> okay, um, you can put this on your. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just reading the notes that are here. What I use peppermint for, it is it supports your respiratory. Um, systems so to me it really opens up the sinuses it's very strong um, it calms the stomach when I was pregnant and I was nauseous I would just I wouldn't even put it on I literally just huffed the bottle for nine months <sighs> and it smells so good and it calmed my stomach and then if you were really like nauseous I put just a drop on my finger and whoopsie daisy that was more than a drop this is really intense I put it on the roof of my mouth and it's whew, it like wakes up everything in your, holy cow, it's very intense. Um, you can also put some on your third eye. This is great for headaches. Again, I'm not supposed to say this. I'm not supposed to like talk about curing or treating or diagnosing diseases. But um, hey, if it works, it works. So that's peppermint. Um, putting this back in the box. Ooh, I have the freshest breath ever right now. All right, lavender. I'm gonna pull out. Lavender is very relaxing and calming and grounding. I diffuse lavender in my um, kids, and I have twin boys who are four. I put this in their diffuser at night, at bedtime. Every night I use lavender. And sometimes I'll mix in um, like sniff the sniffles for they have the sniffles, or I might add in some extra oils, but every night religiously, lavender. It's just very calming. This is also known as the Swiss Army Knife of oils. So if you have uh, a cut or a burn or any kind of skin irritation, lavender. Um, I'm a teacher and a few, right before Christmas break, um, another teacher that I work with was experiencing an allergic reaction and her hands were swelling and she was looking for Benadryl and the nurse like went home or she wasn't here and nobody had Benadryl. I went to her room, I poured three drops on her hand and she said that instantly the itching went away. And then she sent me an edible arrangement. How sweet is she? Because she was so thankful that I helped her. Um, so, I mean, these are powerful. These are tiny little bottles of magic. I just absolutely love these. Um, so lavender, Swiss Army knife, I feel like you could do no wrong. The static in the, my hair, I throw some lavender on my hands, I run my, through my hair. So not only does it help the static, but then you smell good. I use this on my dryer balls. I have these wool dryer balls instead of dryer sheets because of the chemicals. I put this, a couple drops on my dryer ball, throw it in, so then my clothes come out, they're not staticky, and they have this nice little hint of lavender, it's not too intense. Um, your skin, it's really good for skincare. Again, like you can add this to your lotion. Young Living sells lavender lotion, but you could also just add this to your own. You can add it to coconut oil like I just did, and it just, it smells amazing, and it's calming, it's relaxing, and it's really good for your skin. Um, okay, that was, okay, next is lemon. Now what I want you to notice is that pe peppermint, peppermint, lavender had a purple label and lemon has this white one. So Young Living has a line of oils called Vitality because we can ingest these oils. Again, these oils are 100% pure, um, pure essential oils with nothing added. So we can, and I do, ingest these oils every day. Um, the FDA, I'm just reading my notes, the FDA regulates what we can and can't write on the bottles and they don't like having um, one bottle that you can ingest for dietary usage and apply topically or ar aromatically. They want separate. So it's the exact same oil. So if you have um, a Vitality Lemon and a, like this is, this is lavender, so this is like not, I'm looking for another one. You can have a Vitality Lemon and a, um, topical lemon. It's the exact same oil, but this one is just um, labeled Vitality saying that you can ingest it, when really you can ingest all of them. Um, both bottles will contain the exact same oil. I hope that makes sense. I hope I'm explaining that. If you have any further questions, please, you can email me or my sister. Uh, you get my number from my sister and I'd be happy to answer any questions because I love talking about oils. Um, while we're talking about ingesting oils, real quick, um, we talked about the seed to seal promise and we said that Young Living has the most pure uh, 
the best quality oils. The FDA regulations allow a company to label their oil 100% essential oil as long as they contain at least 5% essential oil. Uh, isn't that insane? So you can have just 5% of the bottle is essential oils and they'll add other stuff to it and the FDA says that they can label that as 100% pure essential. It's insane. So 98% of the oils out there on the market are adulterated, they are not pure. So if you go to Walgreens, I see essential oils at Walgreens all the time, and it will say um, lemon or peppermint, but do not ingest. Okay, if it's 100% pure lemon, I should be able to ingest it. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to ingest it unless it's been adulterated, and that's what's going on. So these are so pure that we can and we do ingest them. Um, they are for internal use. So that was my soapbox, back to lemon. So this is a dietary one. Lemon, um, I mean, you've all smelled a lemon, so it's not a surprise what this smells like, but it's just very powerful. It's, um, it's like a very intense lemon smell, but it's like a very clean, fresh, crisp. It's uplifting. All the citrus oils, I think, are very uplifting. Um, so I diffuse lemon, lavender, and peppermint together, and the three of them um, are, I'm supposed to say that they are, they will support your respiratory, your seasonal respiratory issues because I'm not allowed to say it helps allergies. So we say seasonal, what am I saying? Seasonal respiratory issues because we have to talk in code because I'm not allowed to claim to cure or treat any diseases, even though they can and do. Okay, this is why I'm bad at this because I'm saying things I'm not supposed to say. All right, so lemon, uh, I use this in my water. My kids love it in their water too. So a drop of this, this removes like sticky residue. If you have a sticker on a glass or a mirror or something, you can use lemon to uh, get the stickiness off. We use this to get stains off. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I use this in my water the most. People use it for cooking uh, and you can, I diffuse it with lavender and peppermint. So lemon, lavender and peppermint are known as the allergy trio, which I probably should not be advertising, but it's happening. Okay. Next up is, I'm sorry, I just want to make sure I'm covering my notes. Oh, Thieves. Thieves is one of our most well-known, oh, sorry, I'll in your face, well-known oils. All right, Thieves is one of the oils that Young Living is really known for. And this is a Vitality Thieves, but again, it's the same recipe. It's the exact same oil that's in the other bottles of Thieves. Um, this is a blend, so it contains clove, lemon, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus, and rosemary. It's kind of got a little spicy um, scent to it. And I like to just put a couple of those two drops. Oh, I love it, I love how these oils smell. Sorry, I might have a problem. Hope I'm not weirding you out at home. <laughs> so, okay, Thieves has got a cool backstory. I'm a history teacher, so I love these stories. This originated um, from the 15th century. There were thieves going around and robbing graves of all the plague victims. And when these thieves got caught, the authorities asked them, you know, like, how are you not getting sick? How are you not dying when you're exposing yourself to all these germs? So they, the story goes that these robbers, they gave the recipe of their oils to the police for a lesser sentence. And hence where this comes from. So thieves is known for, um, I don't even know if I can say this, but for killing like germs. It's known for having this antibacterial property, which is cool because it's natural. So we have a whole line of Thieves cleaning products. I use Thieves to clean my whole house. Um, it's pretty amazing. When your kids are feeling below the weather or if you think you're getting something, diffuse the heck out of Thieves, get it in the air so you're breathing it in so it's killing everything. I um, take my thieves and I add it to a little spray bottle with some water and guess what? Now you have some hand sanitizer that's natural, chemical free, and it works. Um, let me backspace to my lavender. I forgot to share this with you. I put lavender in here with some water and it's my sleepy spray. I spray my, oh it smells good. I, I spray my kids pillows, their sheets, their blankets because again it has calming 
it has a calming quality to it and it kind of just brings us down at the end of the day and everything smells so yummy so thieves hand sanitizer i got my lavender sleepy spray um thieves i also will put a drop of this on like a cotton ball or a little piece of tissue and i'll throw it in the plastic container of strawberries that i have that's in the fridge and it makes them last like a lot longer than they normally would um la 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 there are, I have like pages and pages and pages of stuff for thieves that I'm um, gonna skip. But again, if you want me to send any of this to you, I will. I'm just trying to think of the ways that I just use it. Um, it says to diffuse thieves to kill mold. Um, you can gargle with it, put it, again, dryer balls. Oh, if like you left your clothes in the wash, sometimes that happens and they get that like stinky smell. Instead of running them again, you can um, put some thieves on some dryer balls, throw it in the dryer with your thieves and with your, um, possibly your funky clothes and everything is smelling good again. Okay, next one we are going with is frankincense. If I can get it out. Come on, Frank. Frankincense. Oh, frankincense. I love frankincense. All right, frankincense is a very expensive oil, and I love that it's in the premium starter kit. These are the everyday oils that people are, use the most. These oils are the most common. Um, and frankincense, like a big, this is a five mil. It comes in a 15 mil. The 15 mil bottle is like 80 bucks. So the fact that this comes with all these oils and a diffuser for 160 is like a steal. It's a really good deal. Okay, I use frankincense every morning. I get out of the shower. It's the first thing I do. I put a drop of frankincense and a drop of patchouli in my hands. I put a couple drops of water so the water will drive it in. And I put it all over my face. And it's so good for your skin. This um, supports your skin and skin growth and healthy skin development. Um, I'm not allowed to say this. Google frankincense and what it does for your skin, for your cells, and um, you're gonna be blown away. This the stuff that um, frankincense can do for you. Uh, la, 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 la. It's very grounding, so it's a good way to start your day. Um, I know people who end their day as well. I don't always wash my face at night. I need to, I know. Um, but if I did, I would be um, ending my night with this as well. I should start that into my routine, but um, it's just such a good scent. And we have a whole line of oils um, called the oils of the ancient scripture. Uh, we know this is famous from the birth of Jesus. Uh, it's a sacred oil. It's known for anointing. What else can I say? Um, okay, I'm gonna move on because I feel like I'm taking forever. Die guys, die guys. I'm terrible at pronouncing these, so whatever. This one took me a while to warm up to, but this one is flipping awesome. So it's to help you, it's to help support digesting things, digest, get it, digesting. <laughs> See what we did there? So I think it smells kind of gross, I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> but I'm telling you these oils are magic. You ever have one of those days where you just like overeat? Sometimes I have a lot of those days, more than, <laughs> more than I should. Um, you take a drop of digize and I'm telling you, you are like uh, better. So this is a blend, sorry, I'm looking for my notes. This is a blend that has tarragon, ginger, peppermint, juniper, lemongrass, anise, patchouli, and fennel. Um, what you can do is rub it on your tummy. You can pour a drop on your tummy. With my kids, I will put a carrier oil, like coconut oil. They also sell a kid's version of this that's pre-diluted called tummy guys, or tummy guys. Again, I suck at pronouncing whatevs. Uh, there you go. What, if you're hardcore and you're up for it and you're having some tummy issues, maybe you overate, whatever, I don't judge, okay? What I do is I legit take the cap off and I pour a drop under my tongue. Ask my sister. It smells gross, it tastes gross at first. Um, so what I learned is you can take a shot of peppermint, you can chase your digize with a shot of pep, like a drop of peppermint. Peppermint also supports your tummy. This is what I would huff when I was pregnant to calm my stomach. And the peppermint takes away the gross taste of your digize, and they both calm your tummy. Uh, after doing that, like a couple weeks, maybe a month, you get used to the taste. It doesn't really bother me anymore, and I'm telling you, I'm telling you, would you rather have like a few seconds of gross oil in your mouth or like in a calm tummy? Yes, you would. It's so worth it. All right, um, Copaiba. People go crazy for this one. 
am trying to learn how to use it more. Uh, it has no, to me, I can't smell anything. I don't smell anything. It's what I use it for the most is when um, my babies are teething. You rub this on their gums and oh my God, it's natural and I did not dilute it. I, I kind of freaked out. I was texting my friends. I'm like, I didn't dilute my oils and I just threw it. Joey was like, I don't know, like three or four months old and he was screaming and not sleeping and I just took it and I put it on my fingers and I put it all over his mouth and it was like instant calmness. I swear to God, magic, magic. All right, Copaiba. Um, let me see what it says in here. Um, it says it's emotionally calming. Oh, this is, okay, I remember. This is the amplifier oil. This one intensifies the effect of all the other oils. So let's say you're using lavender because you cut or hurt your finger or you got a burn on your skin. You could put copaiba and lavender on. The copaiba will intensify the lavender. Okay, so this would be the amplifier oil. It can enhance the benefits of other oils. Um, I'm trying to see what else it says. This is emotionally calming, secured, securing, and grounding. Um, again, I don't use this one as much, but um, I know a lot of people who will use it with Panway, and Panway is the next one. Panway is good for your muscles. If you have really sore muscles, you can use these two together because this is the amplifier. Okay, so Panway... Panway has this top on it. Crap, I'm at 30 minutes. Sorry. Panway has the childproof top because it smells like wintergreen gum. It smells really good. And we have this top so that little kids don't take it and like ingest all of it because that's not good. So Panway is smells like Bengay kind of because that's what it does. It's for sore muscles. It supports your muscles. Um, combined with a carrier oil and you can apply it to your back, your neck, your shoulders. Um, Okay, use, they say use this after you're, like when you're working out. That's what this is for, sore muscles. This one, just when you smell it, I just think, yep, Bengay, sore muscles, done. Okay, I think I'm, oh, I forgot, two more. Sorry, these are the two newer ones. Citrus Fresh is a nice citrus blend, and it's very uplifting. I love using Citrus Fresh in my water. My kids love it in their water. It's similar to lemon. It's uplifting. Um, I'm trying to see where my notes are on it. Okay, it's a blend of six oils. We have five citrus oils in here. Um, mint, orange, tangerine, grapefruit, lemon, mandarin, and spearmint. I love spearmint. Oh my gosh. Um, it says on the emotional end, citrus fresh works both sides of your brain to help you relieve fear and stress. So that's kind of interesting. There's a lot of emotional help that these oils can give you. I know frankincense is very grounding and calming. So this is to help you with your emotions. I just, again, I love these scents. They're, they smell so good. All right, and the last one, I'm trying to cruise through here because I feel like this is taking, I, this could be like an hour class. So I'm trying to go real fast. Raven, Raven is the next one. Again, another safety top. Raven, I always think of, um, that's so Raven. <laughs> I got problems. Okay, where the heck are my notes on Raven? Ah, sorry, found them. Eek, I'm so late. Okay, Raven contains Ravensara, Lemon, Wintergreen, Peppermint, Eucalyptus, Radiata. This is um, oh, the one, I use this in my homemade vapor rubs. So I will take coconut oil, put it in a mason jar. I will add Raven, a Eucalyptus, Thieves, maybe Peppermint. You have your homemade vapor rub. No chemicals being um, applied to your kids' bodies. And it just smells really good. So this is a respiratory support oil for times when um, you're under the weather or you feel like your kids are coughing. And um, why do we not want chemicals in our body? They interrupt all your um, systems and your body does not, work, does not function properly with all these toxins in your body. Okay, um, that is all the oils. There is a bonus oil in the bottom of your box. You get a bottle of Stress Away. That's your bonus one. And this one smells like, it smells like a margarita to me. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, let's see what it says here is in a Stress Away. Stress Away is a blend of copaiba, lavender, cedarwood, lime. It's the lime. That's what I smell. Vanilla, 
Um, it helps to induce relaxation and get rid of nervous tension. So this one's awesome. You also get a one little roller ball. So like lavender is something I like having a roller ball on. So you can take off this top part. You could pop off this little plastic part here. You push shove this one in and now you can roll this all over your skin. This could be a roller ball. So panway, you can uh, put this on top of panway. So panway, you can roll on your muscles. So you get a free roller fitment. And they also give you two samples of Ningxia Red. And Ningxia Red is a super supplement um, from Young Living. It contains the Ningxia Wolfberry, which is like a huge superpower. It um, supports all your body systems. And there's a whole kit of just Ningxia. You get like bottles and these packets like tons and tons of Ningxia so if you um, I put these in the fridge try these if you love them put the, you can order more these are super good for your body I have my kids drink these um, let's see it's got so many essential nutrients it's got amino acids it gets rid of the free radicals in your body so this is like a super super supplement and it's really good my kids love these uh, one time I was at work and Steve my husband gave each of the boys like three or four of these I was like oh, my sacred Nisha please like slow your roll one a day please all right and then you also get which I don't have a sample of the thieves cleaner and like I said, the Thieves oil is magic and we have a whole line of Thieves cleaning products. So um, they're gonna give you a sample. I have the big thing of Thieves cleaner and you just put a little cap full in a, bo a bottle of water and you have a natural cleaner. I use it to clean everything. My sinks, the floor, glass, the kitchen table, bathroom. It's um, chemical free and it works. So I can send my sister samples um, if you need to try anything. Um, I hope you're, I hope I answered all your questions. Um, so if you're interested, there's, um, three ways to join the premium starter kit, which is what I just talked about is all these oils. You can get the thieves kit and you can get, or you can get the Ningxia kit. All right. Um, the premium starter kit, which I just showed you is 160 and you get to pick whichever diffuser you want, the dew drop or the desert mist. And then you, once you join and you become a member, you have access to buying any oils, any of the Young Living products at a wholesale price instead of retail. And there's just lots of perks that we can get into later. Um, so if you're interested in signing up, talk to my sister. She has links. Um, you can go to the Young Living website and they ask you to type in um, the person who referred you has a number. They ask for her number. So you'd want to type in Jennifer's number. Um, or she'll just give you a link that will send you right to the page. And then you can click on the diffuser you want and all this and they'll ask you like your name and address and they'll mail you out all these goodies so i'm sorry this video was so long i just have so much information for you again if you have any questions if you want any samples let me let jennifer know um and she'll let me know and i would love to mail samples to anyone who wants one and i hope that you enjoyed the video i hope it was useful and have a great day bye